Hi, I'm here at Fitacon where Creative Bharat is the media partner. I have Dr. Uh, Mitali here. Mitali, tell us more about yourself. Uh, I am a holistic health consultant as well as a homeopathic consultant. At the same time, I'm also a cancer survivor, a cancer winner. Mm -hmm. I suffered from ovarian cancer in 2013 mm -hmm. and I was able to heal myself completely with the help of an holistic approach mm -hmm. rather than the uh, normal medical uh, approach. So since then for the last five years I'm also working as a holistic cancer consultant, mm -hmm. making people aware about the mind-body connection and looking at yourself and your entire problem from a more holistic point of view and not just healing your medical problem but also healing yourself from within. So that's what my uh, journey has been so far. Nice. Uh, so tell us about uh, the experience of uh, uh, you know your uh, uh, the cancer journey to actually healing yourself completely. How how were you motivated? Because when typically people land up having uh, you know when they come that okay they're being detected with something like that, the first thing which we you know hits them is uh, depression. Uh, you know, the whole life comes in front of them. How do you really focus at that time on actually being uh, healthy and still telling yourself, yes, I can do it? Yeah, I agree with you. Depression and fear are one of the major emotions that a patient goes through, especially a patient of cancer. And uh, being able to come out of that and not allow that to bog you down is one of the first step. And that comes with acceptance of your problem, mm -hmm. acceptance of yourself with the problem. The moment you are able to accept the problem, you are out, you can deal with it in a much better way. And the most second important thing which I feel is you know taking responsibility of your health. So as when you asked me how were you able to ground yourself, when I at the age of 40 was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, I could somehow understand that there was so much of stress going underneath for the last 40 years that the body had just made a wonderful package of it, you know, and this mm -hmm. was in one place. What I needed to do was really understand what this package is and work slowly at releasing the emotions, the traumas, the baggage out of my body and empower my immune system to heal itself. Because um, our entire body intelligence, which we call as our immune system, is capable of healing us. It's just that the kind of life that we live, the stresses that we have, we've lost that ability to heal ourselves. So reconnecting with that ability was what was important. Luckily, working as an homeopath for the last 20 years prior to being diagnosed with this and also being exposed to the spiritual aspect of life by doing things like Vipassana or after flowing course or SSY, but I used to do regularly a lot of meditation and stuff like that. So it was not that I didn't have the tools and techniques, it's just that the tools and techniques were there with me. They were just needed to be dusted, and the dust needed to be removed from it. And then just get them out and start using it more methodically and systematically. Of course, not that the path was very clear, and I wasn't sure as to how I was going to go about it. But sometimes just belief in yourself and the belief in the universe that's just going to support you in your journey is a, is a huge thing. It's an immense step to moving forward. So just taking one step at a time and... Uh, it was six months where I just had to keep my fingers crossed and keep doing what I was doing, which had a daily routine of um, meditation, pranayam, silent walks, mm -hmm. a lot of affirmations, guided visualizations. Apart from that, a lot of healing work on my suppressed uh, emotions or traumas that I was carrying. We all, when we live a life of 30, 40, 50, 60 years, there's something or other that's going on in our right. life. It's not that all stresses can be managed by us. Most of it just goes, you know, just mm -hmm. dumped inside under the carpet. So this under the carpet kind of a thing is what we stumble on finally on one one fine day. And the body is trying to tell us. It's not that the body suddenly comes up with cancer. It does give us indications. It could be in the form of, uh, say, migraines. It could mm -hmm. be in the form of recurrent colds. It could be some in the form of allergies loss of sleep, and we don't really look at it from a wholesome point of view. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm having an acidity, I might just pop an antacid. If I'm having a headache, I might just take a painkiller. If I have some rash, I might just take a antihistamines. But not really try and ask myself, why am I having this? What is my body really trying to say to me? Mm -hmm. What does the body want to communicate to me when it keeps coming up with something or the other? So it's not just 
taking a pill or just looking at it at the super superficial level, and trying to understand what's happening deeper within. Maybe there's some anger, there's some resentment, there's some disappointment, some relation that's gone sour, somewhere you you're not feeling good about yourself. And that's what's seething inside. And somehow the body really wants you to heal that. So I look at it that these problems that our body cups keeps coming up with are our body's way of crying out for help. Mm. Giving us signs and indications of I need help. So that's where we need to look into what help does our body need. It's just always looking at it as taking a pill and finishing the matter off. Mm. So when it comes to help, what kind of help would the body need? It could be as simple as regularizing your sleep routine. Mm -hmm. As simple as regularizing your meal timings. Mm -hmm. As simple as just giving yourself some moments of silence between your work. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we something like have one minute meditation. Yeah. Just taking, a, taking one minute off for yourself and reconnect with your inner self. It could be something as complex as going into a therapist and healing yourself from within, your traumas of maybe a loss of a child, maybe an ugly relationship, an abusive partner, mm -hmm. a divorce. It could be any, anything of that sort. So understanding what I need, that's, that's what's important. So my whole journey was trying to understand what was it that I needed. And uh, that's about how I went for the next six months. And then um, the cancer was diagnosed in June 2013. In January 2014, when I did my tests which are mandatory for ovarian cancer, that is CA125, PET scan and my sonography. By God's grace, all of them were clear. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that was where the conviction was that, okay, this works. Mm -hmm. this, this definitely helps. And if it can help me, it can definitely help others if they are shown a way of how to do it. So since my recovery in 2014, it's been five years now that I've developed a an approach, which I call as holistic approach to cancer management, where I connect with cancer patients and teach them how to go about this. More like a stepwise, the whole they hold their hands and lead them yeah. to it. Yeah. Because I know it was it was it was very scary, it was fearsome when I was into it. So very well uh, said that uh, you know emotions are what really control uh, problems on your body. So if you have, if you can control your emotions and you can understand your body, you can understand yourself, uh, then you can really cure yourself. Um, you know, we have audience who have given us uh, pre-questions, um, you know, when they understood that we were going to interview you. Uh, one of them said that, you know, uh, when we have problem in our body, say I have problem with my knees or, um, you know, I have some, you know, problem uh, during my periods and um, what happens is today doctors have segmented the body parts. So you have orthopedic surgeons for your bones, joints, then you have gynecologist for the women related issues. Uh, how does one really understand that a problem in my body, you know, is related to which doctor? Yeah. You know, how you being a doctor, how just explain to us how how does one really understand that and how do we understand which is the person we, we really need to go to? Yeah, I mean, this is such an, such an important question. Really. I mean, I, I remember there was, when we were kids, we always had this whole concept of a family doctor. Yeah. And uh, that's where we first went to, you know. And because he, we kept going to him right since our childhood, he really knew us in and out. He knew us so well. I mean, even if uh, we didn't need a medicine, he could tell us, go home, you don't need anything. Or just going and meeting him and talking to him and having that sort of a confidant was enough for, for, uh, for us. And then if there was really a need for a medical intervention, a family physician was the one who would guide you, you know, okay, you need to go to this, you need to go to that. So unfortunately, as you said, the medical fraternity has grown and we have really compartmentalized everything. That's now the time has come. I think the world today, the whole medical science is coming all over full circle and coming completely in a circle where we have so much of quantum healing being spoken about, being researched, so much of epigenetics being talked about and a lot of research happening at this level where we look at ourselves as a body as a whole and not just as a body in a physical form, as an energy field, completely in the form of an energy moving around. So we are looking now at something which is called as energy medicine or healing, 
completely. So I would say when you answering your question directly is when you are not not well, instead of you deciding that I need to go to an orthopedic or I need to go to an oncologist or I need to go and uh, go to an endocrinologist, it would be really important for you to first sit with yourself, connect with yourself, try and understand what is it that my body is needing. A little bit of going within really gives you the guidance of what's wrong with me and how I need to go about it. And of course, having a more, as I said, we are coming full circle, having a doctor with whom you go day in, day out regularly for all your problems creates that beautiful doctor-patient relationship. And then allow him to guide you what you need and what you don't need. Right. And sometimes he would choose you, because today the market is full of all kinds of doctors. When, when you say an orthopedic surgeon or when you say a uh, uh, MD physician, we have ten and dozens of them around. So he would really connect you to the right person. And you would not waste your time and your money and your energy just going into the market from one place to another. So very often we, we do see patients where we get these kind of feedbacks, I went here and I went there and I went there and I'm doing this and I'm taking this treatment and this is not helping and that is not helping. So maybe having one place where you're regularly in connection with one physician, whoever it might be, someone with whom you share that confidence, yeah. and then allow him to guide you. Right. Yeah. That's what I feel is the need of the doctor. Thank you so much. It was really nice interviewing you. So, uh, so for the viewers, uh, we will have an editorial interview carried on our publication, and her contact details will be published there. So if you do need her assistance in getting better in your health and knowing and identifying yourself, uh, you know, your body, your emotions, then she is the right person to be contacted. Thank you so much.